guess who's back? Back again. Time in the beginning. Ever seen someone's teeth and mouth rattle like that when yelling? I haven't. But this intro reminds me every time. I had him. We had him, bro. Oh my god. This goes to show you how, like, you have to be more tactical and things are just tougher when you're in pure black tendency. And. It's New Game Plus. If you're Black Plus New Game Plus, you might as well say I'm in New Game Plus 3 at this rate. Oh, I almost had him. Almost have. Uh, uh, we, we, we had the strategy. We, we, we had the, the right approach and everything. And the right healing tools, too. But damn. So close to beating it, man. We're so freaking close. Right. Still, a few things before we dive into this. Right. Uh, yep. Got this. We have a soul man. Oh, they're attacking right in there. You're not that smart.
All right, we're down to one. Oh, that was quick. Ooh. I barely had to heal. It was great. Come on. or not. There, done. Rest in peace. Woo. And I got all 
of my humanity. Oh, that feels so good. It feels so good. Victory, people. Victory. Got the next demon soul. Got the ivory tower. Alright. Ivory tower, here we go. Alright. The ivory tower. Prisoners hung in cages. Their flesh patched together. Very fleshy monstrosities. It was the doing of Latria's new master. An old man who had one long ceased to be human, seeking to create demons by his own way. Since we're offline, the boss should be much easier. Just, just like that. And also, in case, carefully. Oh, damn, we're here already. Oh, look at that. A whole run back we don't have to even think about. like I didn't expect that. Now. We can beat this guy. It's just that we can't get greedy. We have to get tactical with this bastard.
There we go. Ooh, okay. Uh, second attempt, we knocked him out. And I got my humanity. If you notice here, let's just take a look at the environment. God damn. So look here. Like, all of them have their faces scraped off, so you can never really know who the heck are they. All we know is that these are people. Obviously, usually, if you play this online, it's usually a PvP type thing where, you know, which is something that gets re explored in Dark Souls 3 with the, with the Ring of City. So, this is the throne room, a throne room of Yomedar, our son of the old monk demon. His revenge complete, the old man withered away, driven to madness by the golden robes that controlled his body. Now too frail to serve as a vessel, he was fully absorbed by the demon's soul. And how was that? Man, that was some good shit. That, this, this was a good run. Okay, so golden demon soul, soul of the monk demon, right? We'll go see the witch. Make use of it, you know what I mean? This is an instance where it's like, you know what? Yeah. Because a miracle for us not even worth it. De verdad quieres aprender brujería? Sería un honor ayudar a alguien como tú, pero realmente es lo que quieres? All right, learn. Yep, soul thirst. There we go. Yep, and there we go. We got something out of it. Gracias. Espero que mi brujería te sea de utilidad. Let's talk to her. See if there's any more stuff about it. Viniste por más. Muy bien. La magia de Freik es diferente a mi brujería. Su magia proviene de su comprensión de la esencia de las almas demoníacas, mientras que mi brujería simplemente canaliza su energía. Si el demonio está maldito, también lo estará el conjuro. El poder de Freik surge del potencial de los seres humanos, mientras que el mío es un arte oscuro y dependiente. Te debo la vida. Si alguna vez necesitas de mi brujería, háblame. It's Frank, he's just chilling. Es que te enseñe magia. Yo, claro que hice todo lo posible para liberar al maestro Freak, pero no tengo la fuerza necesaria, así de simple. Además, si me capturaran a mí también, ¿quién estaría aquí para buscar ayuda? Oh, damn, I never rescued Freak. Oh, well, whatever. Bien, haz lo que quieras. Asegúrate de rescatar al sabio Freak lo antes posible. Which, if I'm honest with you guys, there is no reason to rescue him. At least for me in this playthrough. At this point, there's really no reason for him. So, in case you're wondering, our final destination is here. Our stone of the chieftain. We're not going to do this tonight. But just thought I'd show it to you. Because boy, you might as well call this... The inspiration of Blight Town. This human valley is a haven for the used and the forgotten. Its inhabitants, afflicted by poison and plague, await their deaths in this forsaken place, attacking those who wander in, hoping to offer their souls to the one woman who showed them compassion. Also known as the Valley of Defilement. So, this will be the next place we visit. And I love. The symbology here, because you know how it's poison plague, and then the way the per the symbol of this arch stone, or the chieftain, kind of like you know back in the day, the black plague, you know back in Europe and stuff, and then even like the little misbegotten's over here, they look like damn ghosts. So, you know, they 